Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to display and format your dates and times in JavaScript. Okay, so it's going to be super easy to achieve this and I'm going to be showing you two main ways of doing so. Uh, the first way is going to be using only JavaScript, so no external libraries or dependencies. And the second way is going to be using a library such as day.js uh, to do so. Okay, so there's there's pros and cons to both methods, but my recommendation in general is going to be to go with a date and time library because it can get a little bit tedious in, uh, you know, in JavaScript when it comes to working with the built-in date object. But for those smaller use cases and those edge cases, you can probably get away with you know, using only JavaScript. So I'm going to be showing you both techniques and then you can decide yourself uh, which route you want to go with. Okay, so let's go inside the text editor right here and take a look first at the only JavaScript example. So we can see here I've got this empty JavaScript file. So the way it's going to work is uh, it's going to be based on a function called format dates. Okay, so for example, let's define a new constant right here. We're going to call this constant my date, and then we can make this equal to a new date object. So we can say new date just like this, and then you can pass in your date right here. But if you want to, uh, if you want to get the current date and time, you can just leave this as is. Okay. So in this example right here, I'm going to leave it the way it is, just like this. Okay. And we can now uh, make a second constant. We're going to call this one. Uh, let's just call this my date formatted. So now this one right here is going to contain the formatted uh, date for display. Okay, so here we can call the function called format date just like this, and then we can pass through my date. But we need to actually, of course, create this function right here. So let's go right up here. And we're going to say function format date just like this. And just for now, well, of course, we need to actually take in our date object. So we can just say date object right here. And just for now, we can return uh, decode, for example. So now we can simply console.log my date formatted. And we should get in the console uh, decode. So saving this and as I mentioned, we get decode in the console right there. So let's now, of course, work on actually getting the date displayed inside here. So back inside here, I'm going to set a JS doc comment right up here just to actually get some type hinting when we're actually writing out the code. So I'm going to say date inside these brackets. So now, um, you know, uh, my editor knows this right here is going to be a date object. So why is this object important? Well, if I was to go to the W3Schools website, we can see right here we have all of these different methods which we can call on the date object. So I'll be leaving a link to this right here in the description below for you to, of course, reference yourself. But we have all of these different methods we can call to extract parts of information about the current time or whatever the time is that you pass in. Okay, so for example, we've got get dates between 1 and 31, we've got get hours, we've got get minutes, get seconds, etc. So, with that being said, let's go back inside the code and we can see, of course, we have access to those methods right here using the dates object and then dot. So, with that being said, let's create a new object inside this function to contain our different parts or different components of the time or the date and time. So we can say const parts is equal to a new object right here. And then we can say for the first part, we're going to grab the date between one and 31. For this, we can just say date object dot get date just like this. And then we can make a second property here for month. This will be date object dot get month. Now, get month is going to give you the month between 0 and 11. So 0 for January and 11 for December. So we need to simply add 1 to get between 1 and 12 for that month. So we can say plus 1 right here. The last one for now is going to be year 
equal to date object dot get full year to give us the four digit year that the date object actually is. So let's just save this and I might actually, I might just console dot log the parts right here. We can now save this, go back inside the browser and we get right here in the console upon refreshing, we get the object right here. So of course, eight for the date, month two for February and of course year 2021. So let's now grab these components and put them inside a string. So back inside the text editor, let's return from, you know, our little uh, function here. Let's return using the back ticks uh, on the keyboard next to the one. Okay, so back ticks right there. We can then say using dollar sign, then curly brackets, we're going to pass through here parts dot date. So we're going to say the current date, then forward slash, so day, then month. So once again, dollar signs, parts dot month, then forward slash again, then parts dot year. Okay, so now saving this and going back inside the browser, we get right here in the console, 8 to 2021. So that is a basic date format function. When it comes to your times, it's going to get a lot more complex, but it is still manageable. Okay, so going back inside here. Now, if you want 24 hour time, it's going to be easy. If you want 12 hour time, it's going to be a little bit more complex. So to achieve your 12 hour time, let's make a new property called hour. And this hour is of course going to be your 12 hour you know, time. It's going to be between one and 12 for the hour. So for this, we're going to be using the mod operator. Okay, so we're going to say right here using parentheses date object dot get hours. So this get hours right here is going to give you the hour between zero and 23 inclusive. So of course, we need to convert that 23 or 24 hour into 12 hour. So to achieve that, we're going to be using mod right here, the percent sign, then we're going to say 12. So you might be asking what exactly is this mod 12? Well, I can show you. Let's go inside the browser. And let's call for example, 11pm. So 23, then mod 12, press enter, and we get 11. So basically, mod is going to give you the remainder of this division. So in this case here, it's going to be 11. Now, that's perfectly fine. If I say for example, 8pm, it's going to be 20, then mod 12, we get eight, perfect. But what if I was to say 12 mod 12. So basically, 12pm mod 12, in this case, it's going to be zero. Uh, that is uh, that is not good, obviously, because we need to actually say 12 p.m. in this case. Same goes for 12 a.m. If it was zero, then mod 12 for 12 a.m. We, uh, we we once again get zero. So to convert this zero into a 12, uh, we can just do essentially. Um, if I just clear this up, we can just say if it was zero, for example. We can then say or then 12. So now essentially your zero is going to be equal to a falsy value. So it's going to be, here, it's, it's going to be here essentially uh, false or true. So true being 12. So false or true zero or 12, you're going to get 12. And that is how that works. Okay. So that being said, we can simply say or 12 on the result of that mod. So back inside here, we can just say right here, like I mentioned, or 12, just like this. And that is the hour. Okay. Let's make one for the minutes. So for this one, it's going to be easy. It's going to be date object dot get minutes, just like this. And then we can make one for AM or PM. So basically just for the AM or PM text. And for this, we can simply check if the current hour is less than 12. If it is, it's going to be AM. So we can say date object dot get hours. Then we're going to say if it's less than 12 like this, then we can do AM. Otherwise we can just do PM just like that. So that is the AM or PM. So now let's just console.log the parts once again, then save this and refresh the browser. We can see the object now contains of course the hour of nine. 9 p.m. and the minute is going to be 5. So now let's simply add these uh, these components inside our string. 
back inside here. Let's get rid of this once again. And we can say at the end of this, for example, let's just do parts dot um, hour. So parts dot hour, then colon, then of course the minute. So parts dot minute. Then we can just say space, then put of course your parts dot am or pm. So now saving this and going back inside the browser, we get right here, 8 to 21 9 5 p.m. So it's kind of working but this minute right here of 5 looks a bit weird so of course we need that 0 in front of the 5 so to achieve that it's going to be super easy let's go back inside here we can say for the minutes get minutes dot to string to convert the number into a string then we can make use of the pad start method and this method right here is going to allow you to essentially uh, fill up your string so in this case right here I'm going to pass through uh, going to pass through two because I want it to actually be a minimum of two characters long for zero then five so that's two then we can say zero as the second argument here so now it's going to fill up the remaining space of two to be zero saving this going back inside the browser and we get now 9.06 p.m. So that right there is how to display your dates and times in uh, in only JavaScript. So as we can see, it takes quite a bit of work to do this and, you know, it's probably going to be easier for you if a library did that for you. Okay, so like I said, for your smaller projects and edge cases, this might be fine, but you may want to instead use a library, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. Now, just a quick heads up before we move on, um, if you want to, you know, take this code right here, you can actually edit it, you can add your own components, just take a look at the reference right here on W3Schools, you can use different parts of this to, of course, you know, do your own thing. Okay, so that is the first part of today's video. And if you're wondering, well, how do I pass in my own dates? Well, to achieve that, well, let's go back inside here. We can simply change this my date right here and you can pass through, for example, let's just say you want to do the 4th of February. You just do 2020-02-04, just like that. So year, month, day. Save this and we get right here you know, on a refresh, 4 to 2020, 11 a.m. So it's going to pick the time for you. Um, let's just say, for example, you, you know, you want to do 6 a.m. You just do 06 colon 00. Save this, and now, of course, you're going to get your 6 a.m. right there. So that is the first part of today's video. So moving on to using the library. Like I mentioned, we're going to be using uh, day.js. So for this one, um, it's basically, it's a library which is super easy to use and it works or it's got, it's got mostly the same API and methods as moment.js if you use that one. So when it comes to installing your day.js library, if using or if you're using um, a bundler like, you know, parcel or webpack, whatever it might be, you can of course use node.js right here. If you're using uh, you know, a uh, good old browser, CDN, well, you can simply uh, go to cdnjs.com and of course, I'll leave a link to this below as well. You can simply go to this website and you can you can uh, find the link to the, to, uh, to the day.js library right here. So for example, I'm going to copy the first one just like this and then going to go back and include the library in the JavaScript right inside the HTML. So we're going to say script for source going to our day.js library right there okay so now of course we can use we can use this library in the project so how do we achieve the exact same thing right here with this 6 a.m. or this date formatting using a library such as day.js well the way it works is essentially you need to you need to create a day.js object much like you did with JavaScript, okay, but this object right here is going to have a lot more information and methods available on it to achieve your formatting. So, let's just take a look at a quick example inside the code. So, right up here, we're going to remove or at least just uh, minimize this function which we wrote earlier. Let's remove all of this stuff right here, that's fine. So, when it comes to day.js, 
let's make a new day.js object right here. Then we can say equal to day.js, okay? Then use parentheses and you pass through here your actual, you know, uh, date. So in this case, if I want to use the current time, once again, I'll just pass through nothing. And then if I was to console.log the date format, like we just did earlier, so now it's going to be console.log day.js object, I can say dot .format right here. So this dot .format is going to have a lot more things we can do to, of course, display that date and all of this stuff right here is already done for us. So going back inside the browser, let's see the actual format under, uh, under the display section of the docs. Under the format option here, we can see we can pass through all of these things right here on the left side that allows us to format and display the date. So if we want the day of the month between 1 and 31, it's simply a D, an uppercase D. Okay, so to achieve that, let's go back inside here and we can say inside the format function, we can pass through uppercase D just like this. So now, saving this now, just keep in mind that of course, we are not using our function right up here. It's just there for reference. So if I, if I uh, save this and go back inside the browser, we can see on a refresh, we get eight right there for the 8th of February. Very easy, okay? Back inside here, we can combine all of these things right here into our string. So for example, want the month, okay, double M between zero and 12 or a single M for one and 12. So back inside here, let's say day, then forward slash, then month, and then year is gonna be four Y's. Let's save this back inside here, refresh, eight to 2021. Um, a lot easier than of course, using our function right up here. When it comes to the hours, the minutes, and the AM or PM, once again, it's gonna be super easy. So put a space, then we can say in the docs, we have the hours for uppercase H for the, uh, you know, uh, zero to 23, lowercase H for the one to 12. So we can say H, then MM, then we can say AM, PM as, as capital A. So back in slide here, we can say H, then MM, space then a save this and now we get the exact same result in a much easier to use uh, you know piece of code so like I mentioned using a library like this is going to be a lot easier than of course coding it yourself all of this stuff right here is done for you so I encourage you to explore the documentation of day.js or whatever date library you're using and of course get used to how it works and it's gonna make your life a lot easier so that right there is displaying your dates and times in JavaScript hope you guys learned something from this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one